This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with... My name is Hugo Ferreira. I'm the lead singer and founder of Tantric. All right, we're here in uh, Spring Lake, uh, Minnesota. Spring. <laughs> uh, so we're here at Pops, and uh, we had a great show tonight. And uh, you seemed like very heartfelt. Uh, it seemed like uh, everything up there was, uh, you put your heart and soul into your music. And uh, well, first of all, I want to talk about the, the fans and, and, and how they responded to uh, the performance tonight and how I, you felt. I, I mean, I, I think that um, being a musician is not something that necessarily anybody really ever picks. I think it's something that picks them. And as much as you want to run away from it and have an inclination towards something that's more, you know, just uh, actually achievable and realistic, you know, it's, it's a, a great thing, but my inclination, uh, you know, music did pick me in. And, you know, all I do is, is just write the most sincere shit that I can. And like I always said on stage, I, I love the feeling of, of writing something that's great and, you know, emotional and sincere. And playing, having that feeling when you're playing it for a few friends in your studio or in your basement or backyard or whatever and um, that's basically what I do I, I try not to really think about too much of everything you know at the end of the day I, I don't buy what I want I buy what I need but I say what I want and, you know I don't say what I need to say I don't write what I need to write I write what I feel is honest and you know at least to me sincere and I think that I, you know, I've played arenas, I've played bars, I've played all sorts of places, and it doesn't really make a difference. The only thing that makes a difference is how it affects people and how it makes people move, you know, and it makes people think and it makes people listen to it in a different way, you know. Granted, I know that I'm overly passionate about it, so I, I don't expect everybody to be like that. Okay. Um, you had a new album out, dropped in September, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, 37 channels. Can you tell us a little bit about the album? Well, um, it's like, it was one of the, it's probably the most uncompromised record I've ever written. And I wrote 120 songs for it. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd release a whole box set. But it was kind of basically, the, my thought process was just like, Everything that I've been holding in, uh, I'm just going to put it on this. And whether it sells one record or a million or ten million, I, I, I don't really care. I'll do oh, whatever. I smell the shit. I swear to God. The only thing that matters to me is that uh, that is completely sincere and that. Um, Ooh, what? <laughs> what did she say? I think she said she wants to lick your face. <laughs> Which is like not even really what I'm about. <laughs> you know, the only thing that really matters to me is that, um, and, and I think why when people actually get music, it's just relatability. You know, when you know you're not alone in any drop. Th th so basically, you know, um, you know, I've been doing this for 21 years. Um, uncompromised in the fact that like I put songs in there that I know weren't what people expected but it wasn't for them it was for me and at the end of the day if I die tomorrow I would know that at least I went out with some integrity and integrity is a word that hasn't been used or um, put into actual fruition in a long time and you know, hopefully it, it breaks the barrier of all the crap and predictable shit that sometimes is out there, you know. See my um, my little cousin, I mean, you know, I'm nuts, but you know, I see like you know, teenagers now, 13, 14, they have no respect for their families, they have no anything. All they give a shit about is just when the new iPhone is coming out or, you know, and this is more about like 
slapping people in the head and saying, you know, there's fucking more to life than, uh, than this. And it's just kind of a message through music. I'm not a preacher, it's just my message. Whether you want to listen to it or not, that's up to you. You know, but I'm only responsible for what I, I do. And that's, at the end of the day, the route I'm taking, but it, it might be the route that makes me like work right there. <laughs> but I have worked right there before. But I don't care. I mean, I'm just doing what's what's right. Well, we, we 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 uh, are pretty similar in age, so I I get it exactly what you're talking about. Uh, the generation gap is a lot it's different. Wider and wider yeah. and wider. Yeah. It's like uh, you know when we were kids, it was already tough. But now, kids now, they're like crazy, you know? And it's only gonna get uh, worse and until people like find a medium to reel them in, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's great. I want people to buy my record. I want to, for what I do to supplement my life. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can't just, just give in and, and, and be a part of the problem. And like I said, the way I think of it, I know that it's different than a lot of how other people think of it. But that's just the way I am. You know, like I said, you don't have to like it. You can like it. You can not listen to it. It's okay. But if you do want to get something out of it, you don't just listen to a record. You hear it. And hearing is a big difference than listening. Okay. Um, I noticed you uh, play a little Journey up there. Is Journey one of your... Uh... I mean, I, you know, I've always loved Journey. Journey's like one of those guilty pleasures, but, you know, I mean, you, you can't really take away that Steve Perry is, might be a bad motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, this guy was like, you know, he just had an incredible voice, but he had beautiful songs. I mean, granted, they're not... You know, it's different. Grunge came out, you know, freaking 80s rock came out, but Journey is like, you know, it'll probably last forever, you know? And I, I don't care. I'll totally go see a Journey concert, but I'll totally go see a Rush concert. Yeah, I'll totally go see a, you know, a Gypsy Kings concert, you know? I'll even go see a Bon Jovi concert, because there's some songs that are cool, you know? The Hairspray, you know? Cool, you know? But, you know, good songs are good songs. You know, I'm not a fan of bands. I'm a fan of good songs. Things that make you feel. You know, it's like when you walk in, you, you know, when you have a smell, when you walk in your grandmother's basement and, and then you smell that smell after your grandmother passed away that brings you to that moment again. That's really what it's about, you know. And me and you being the same age, you know, when you hear those songs, it like, you're like, I remember when I was driving my Mustang, you know, I remember when we were playing hockey, you know, and it just brings all these pictures in your head. And that's really what music is supposed to do, you know, it's supposed to be a soundtrack of your life. And for people that are just getting into it, it's supposed to be like something that may or may not move you. Right. And, you know, that's all you can really do. Okay. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate everything. And uh, one last shout out to uh, Minnesota, the fans of Minnesota. Minnesota, Prince. That's all I gotta say. You guys rock. Thank you so much for supporting it. Tantric 37 channels. Just look it up on Google and you'll eventually find it. But get our CD for sure.